Okay, so how do we compute for the percentile? Or in this case, we denote it um, by P sub I, or we refer to that as our uh, ith percentile. So again, when we say percent, that means to say uh, there will be 100 divisions of our distribution. Thus, when we talk of percentile, uh, the denominator that we have here for determining the value of K will be equal to 100. Okay, and um, K is uh, computed by having to divide our I by 100 and we multiply the quotient by our N, which is our sample size. And um, in this case, there will be two scenarios for the value of K. So K may either be a whole number or it may be a fractional value. So the moment K is a whole number, what we do is we locate the K observation and the k plus 1 observation or the next value that comes after our k value and we take the sum and divide it by 2. Oh, that will be um, the corresponding ith percentile in our given data. However, in the case that our k is a fractional value, what we need to do is we round it up so that we will be able to get the k plus 1 um, value or the k plus 1 uh, data value in our distribution. Okay, so let us make use of our example. Uh, we're in referring to our table of values here. Uh, these are the lives of, four, of 40 car batteries, which um, is expressed in terms of years. Okay, so uh, let's say, for example, we are looking for the 85th percentile. So our I here is equal, equal to uh, 85. Okay, so using our formula for having to determine the value of K, um, in this case, uh, K will be equal to 85 over 100 and we multiply it by uh, n or our in this case our n is equal to 40 because there are 40 uh, car uh, batteries okay in our given distribution so uh, computing for this or simplifying the value of k will be equal to uh, 34 all right now since our k is a whole number all right so going back to our uh, two cases uh, once we have determined the value of K since it's a whole number which is 34 what we need to do is to locate the 34th data value and the K plus 1 that is 34 plus 1 which will indicate the 35th data value in our uh, distribution we add those two values and we divide it by 2 okay so that means to say in this scenario um, our K is 34 so we will need to determine the 34th data value in our distribution and our 35th data value in our distribution and we divide it by 2. So going back to our data, uh, the 34th uh, data value in this case is equal to 4.1 okay, plus the 35th data value in our distribution is 4.2. So what we need to do is add them and divide it by 2. The corresponding value will be equal to 4.15. Okay, that means to say our 85th percentile is equal to 4.15 years. I have to indicate years there because going back to the context of our uh, distribution, that has something to do uh, with the lives of the 40 car batteries which is expressed in terms of years. Okay, now, but what is important is how we interpret uh, this corresponding 85th percentile. Okay, so going back to um, our concept of percentile, or the 85th percentile of the given set of data that we have involving the 40 car batteries is equal to 4.15 years. That means to say that 85% of our data values okay would fall lower than 4.15 years or would fall below 4.15 meaning to say of the 40 car batteries that we have in our distribution 85 percent of them would have a lifespan okay which will be lower than 4.15 years Okay, so that is how we interpret the concept of the 85th percentile given in the context of the data values that we have in our given uh, distribution. Okay.